Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do vertical text in uh, Corel Draw. There's actually three or four different methods and I'm going to start with the hardest method and go to the easiest method. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that is because if I start with the easiest one, you won't even care about the other ones. But I want to show them to you, so I'll start with the hardest one. So let's just type up something. I'll type in Synergy 17. And um, the first method we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll take this and we'll rotate it negative 90 degrees. So at that point, we just have it sideways. And what we want to do is there's a character formatting tool here, or a little docker that we can use. And what we're going to do here is uh, we can either uh, kern it here, which means spread it out here, or we could do it later on. So I'll go ahead and do a little bit of spacing here. And what we want to do is once we do this, there's something called character shift. If I highlight this whole thing using control A, I could actually change the angle of this. So I'll say 90, and you can see that it actually turned all the characters uh, 90 degrees. So it kind of uh, worked, but the only thing is if you really look at it, it's perfect, it's not perfectly centered. So what you have to do there is what I do, and there might be an easier way, is I right click and I say convert to curves. And then now I have these, uh, they're no longer, it's no longer text, but what I can do is um, I want to separate it. So I have to break the curve apart and now it's individual pieces. Problem is things like this happen where I have the R and the inside of the R. I could easily take this and recombine it um, or I can highlight them all. But what I want to do is I want to highlight all the pieces and I'm going to hit C to center it. So um, now that I centered it, is I can either recombine it or group it or whatever I want to do. I can you know, right click and say group. But that's uh, method one. So um, let's do another one. So the second method works like this. I could take this here and same thing. I could turn this right here. And what I want to do is I want to draw a line. So I'm going to draw a vertical line here. And then I'm going to highlight this text and go to text to path. Fit text to path. And if I choose this path, it puts it right there. Well, the next thing I want to do is there's different um, shapes here. If we choose this bottom one, it's going to turn. You can actually see what it does for each one. And the very bottom one will change the uh, text so it's uh, lined up vertically. So now that that's there, I still have the option because it is still text. This right here is still text. So I can still current it here a little bit if I want. And like I said, you could always do that afterwards. But what we want to do is I want to take this, right click, convert to curves, and I have it here now. So that's the second method to um, doing um, vertical text. The next method is a little bit easier. This method just includes uh, using the, the enter key. So here we hit enter, 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 enter. And then we go up here and we change this to center and then we have it centered. The cool thing about this is that it's still uh, text so we can change our font size. So that's the third method and then the last method is using a macro. So there's a macro called Shelby's, I think it's Shelby's Hotel Text. And if you go to Macro Monster right here, you can download it for free. And then once you've downloaded it, <clears throat> once you've downloaded that, you're going to copy it to your GMS folder and it shows up as a macro. Uh, I'm sorry, it shows up in your macro list. So if I go to Macros and say Run Macro, I should be able to find it right here called 
uh, SM Hotel text, but I've actually created a shortcut right here already. And this one's super easy. So all you do is select your text and then click this button, and that's it. And I can still change my font size here. So that one's pretty simple. It flips it back and forth. So those are the four methods. Um, like I said, this one's the easiest one. Download the macro and use that. Or I think this one we just hit return and centered everything. And these other two are a little bit more difficult, but um, you can still uh, move things around uh, and do it any way you want. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do vertical text in Ubling. You type in your word. And there's really nothing special you have to do. There's an automatic um, tool in here, which is right here. It's built into Oobling. And it just says left to right, right to left, and top to bottom. Just click the top to bottom, and there you go. And to space it out, you just use the kerning option. And you can bring this down and space out your text. And that's it. And Oobling is super easy. So. That's how you do it in CurlDraw and in Oobly.